Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to be doing an exotic quest guide called Pain and Gain. This is one that really surprised me because I was thinking that this would reward a brand new exotic but it actually doesn't. So the things that this quest gives you is the Risk Runner. It does drop as a powerful though so if you're looking to raid then maybe hold off on this until you're past the 900 soft cap. But it rewards the Risk Runner then later on in the quest awards the risk runner catalyst which in my opinion is really amazing that you can get it from a quest i've personally grinded countless strikes and i'm missing three or four catalysts risk runner being one of them and the risk runner catalyst is fantastic so the fact that you can get it from this quest is very very good and as a little bonus one of the missions actually goes into the first light mission which is for new guardians and new guardians get to pick up the kvostov and because you're in that same area you actually get access to the Kvostov as well so you're getting three things with this quest you're getting the risk runner exotic you're getting the risk runner catalyst as well as a possible Kvostov depending on if you want it or not so without further ado let's get right into this I'm going to keep it short and sweet simply because there really isn't that much detail needed for this quest guide as soon as you're finished with the very first story mission go over to the tower and Banshee aka the gunsmith will have pain and gain for you just go ahead and pick it up and there's three pretty simple and straightforward requirements the very first one is completing a lost sector anywhere in the edz if you're new to destiny 2 and you don't know what a lost sector is think of it kind of like a cave or a passageway that has a little boss at the ending not difficult whatsoever especially if you are at that 750 power level which everyone at this point in destiny 2 should be due to shadow keep Go ahead and kill the boss and loot the chest and that is one out of three requirements complete. Next up, all you need to do is complete a heroic public event and these can be activated very simply but be careful if you are still in the EDZ, there are tons and tons of blueberries doing the first light quest line and that takes them into the EDZ and they may do some public events and finish it very early. That was the experience with me and it was tough to actually activate it but once you're done with the heroic, that step will be done and all you need to do is complete a nightfall now i went into the nightfall strike playlist that was 820 power recommended and the reason being is because i did not want to waste a powerful drop while i was completing this quest line if you are already past that 900 soft cap then what you can actually do is go into the new nightfall mode and complete this and then i'll kind of knock out two birds with one stone you'll get a powerful drop as well as complete this section of the pain and gain quest line. Once you're done with those three things right there, you need to go into your inventory and track the risk and reward mission on Earth. If you open up the EDZ, you'll find it in the bottom left corner, and it's basically going to take you back to the Cosmodrome, and you're going to replay some of the D1 EDZ map. There are new areas that you're going to be doing a little bit of a jumping puzzle through, but launch that up and complete it as quickly as you can. There's no timer, just, you know, better to save time as it's not that difficult. What you want to do is go ahead Ahead and take out three captains they will be spawning every two minutes or so and i think if you kill the walker that's going to speed up the respawn timer of the captain if you kill one of the walkers there's going to be a chest that spawns and you can loot the kvostov right here once you're done with killing three of these captains, it'll prompt you to go into a direction where you go into a secret area and you basically look for one of Cade's hidden treasures. And once you get to the very end of a very long jumping puzzle, you will then pick something up and voila, it'll give you the Risk Runner exotic weapon. Once you move further on into the quest, you're going to fight a bunch of enemies and a pretty big boss. And once you kill him, the quest is essentially finished and you get yourself a Risk Runner Catalyst. The quest tells you to go back to Banshee to talk to him, but you really don't need to. There's nothing else that comes about with this quest line, but obviously go to Banshee and just, you know, get that dialogue out of the way. 
But that is basically it for the quest line. The weapon itself is amazing and paired with the catalyst, it is extraordinary. I can't wait to actually test this in PvE because I think SMG's got a pretty sizable buff and this weapon has always been amazing, especially if you can proc the exotic perk. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 Shadowkeep content. Have yourselves a great day and I'll see you all later. Peace.